Hey guys, uh, Mike back with another heat pump video. Hopefully a couple of quick fixes that might help a few of you if you are error heat pump uh, owners. Uh, might, one of them might actually help if you're not an error heat pump owner, but one of them is very much specific to error. So first one, uh, this is after a couple of weeks of ownership. We highlighted that the, um, the heating of the house was overshooting by about a degree and a half. So it was overshooting the thermostat set temperature by about a degree and a half. And it was also acting quite a lot like a, a boiler. It was very much going at full pelt and then stopping. You could tell on the smart meter because it was using over three kilowatts worth of power at any one point and then just stopping completely. Uh, which isn't how they really should be working. On the radiators, I put a couple of temperature um, thermometers on the flow and return pipes, and I could see that it was getting up to 55 and sometimes 60 degrees on the radiators, which is well over what it should be uh, heating the radiators for, especially as we're talking autumn here, this was. So I phoned up Aera and they looked at the temperatures that they could see on their uh, readouts, and they were seeing that it was trying to heat the um, buffer tank to uh, 45 degrees but it was failing to heat the buffer tank to 45 degrees it was coming out of the heat pump outside into the buffer tank um, and pushing through uh, temperatures of 60 degrees but it, the buffer tank wasn't displaying the correct temperature so what it was the buffer tank has got a small temperature sensor on it and they suspected that the, the probe was not inserted fully into the buffer tank so that it was reading the ambient temperature not the actual buffer tank temperature so while the engineer was uh, on the phone with me i went uh, to the uh, buffer and he told us just to push the cable into the buffer tank which is it located in the middle of the buffer tank just push it in and keep pushing it in if it's got any slack just keep pushing it and as i did that he could see that the temperature of the buffer tank was rising on his system and the um heat pump was reducing its power consumption and i when i carried when well, went back to the uh, the energy monitor and it had dropped right down instant fix the radiators started to warm at a much more reasonable um, 30 degrees at that time of year and um, the energy consumption had dropped right off. All it was was just pushing that buffer tank temperature sensor in just that little bit. Apparently they'd had a few where the, the, the temperature probes had just not been installed quite correctly. Um, so that might be a quick fix for you. If you have an error customer and you're finding that it's using a lot of energy and overshooting your um, set temperature on the thermostat, it's worth contacting error and seeing whether or not it's a similar problem. Um, you can push that temperature sensor in, but I would contact error and see if their, um, their data is showing a similar problem that the buffer tank is not um, getting up to temperature. Problem number two that we had. In autumn, uh, the uh, shower temperature felt perfectly fine, but getting into winter when the bathroom was um, maybe a little cooler, we're just noticing that the shower could just do with being a little hotter and we're on to absolute full uh, max uh, heat and it, it just didn't feel warm enough. And we tested the temperature of the uh, the hot water sink uh, tap in the, in the kitchen and it was getting to about 41 degrees and no further. Now, I did wonder whether or not it was because we just changed to a heating schedule on the hot water system instead of using air as intelligent system. Um, so I changed uh, how long it was heating the water for and it didn't make much difference and I tried moving the time so it was closer to when we we're having a shower in the morning thinking maybe it's losing that heat which you shouldn't do because it should be an uh, insulated cis cylinder but that made no difference either um, so we weren't uh, getting um, a, an adequate hot water temperature for showering. I asked around a few of the uh, forums and someone uh, came up with uh, a potential problem with a thermostatic mixer valve uh, for safety. And when I did a little research on the Aero website, I found that, yes, they installed this thermostatic safety valve, um, which is to stop, from, stop you from getting scolded. Now, other Boiler systems that have cylinders may have similar, but having a um, combi boiler before this, I've not come across this. So um, I had a look on uh, around the indoor unit and I found where it was located. Um, it looks like this. 
and all you have to do is pop off the cap and turn counterclockwise, test the water temperature, see if it's increased, and it did, increased a bit. So I turned it counterclockwise a little bit more, and the temperature increased a little bit more. In fact, I turned it all the way until it was max open so that it's just bleeding in that little bit of cold water to give us a lovely warm shower in the morning. Yes, you've got to be careful that you're going to use a lot more hot water that way. So um, maybe dial it down a little bit, but we've not run out of water, but we're now getting lovely cozy showers. So that's quite an easy fix for you if, you, um, if you're finding that your area uh, hot water is just feeling like a little bit tepid, you want a little bit more hot water, have a look um, at this and see if you can find your thermostatic mixer uh, valve and try opening it up so for us it was a it was counterclockwise and uh, just do it a little bit at a time and test the water temperature you should find that helps all right well i hope those uh, um, little tips help you if you've got any of those issues um and we'll be back probably in the spring to give you a rundown of how our um, systems performed over the the heating season all right see you again soon